JTV.com, YouTube, what's going on? I forgot how deep the pond was, and it's um halfway full. It's twice as deep right here. Um, you gotta do your and hey, check out that frog over there on that little uh right there. See if I can zoom in. But uh, you gotta do your water changes one time in the spring and one time in the fall. Whoa, almost fell. All right, you gotta do these water changes because stuff's gonna build up. All the leaves in the winter time and the fall they fall into the bottom of the pond. If you don't do a water change, all that stuff is gonna lower the cage and people put oyster shells in the um in their in their uh, ponds to help that buffer out. You know, people have to do big kinds of water changes, but. I just did a big old water change on this thing, and this thing is already halfway filled. So it's like I said, I emptied it almost as twice as it was twice as lower before. So you know, did a huge water change on this thing because I have a lot of fish in here, and I'm getting ready for the spring. And like I said, I said er, in earlier videos, I'm gonna make the giant Mountain Dew into a giant Sprite or Sierra Mist. Green water coming in clean white water coming out. You can look at that UV light. Hot diggity dog. It's a cheap smart pump. pump um, I mean a UV light. We're going to see how it does and from my my uh, like knowledge right now looking at that. Take that look at that green water and take a look at that white water. Um, of course it's still going to be a little green. It's not going to come out 100% white water unless I get one of those expensive UV lights. But I'm going to see how this does. If this doesn't cut it, I'm going to put this on my 125 and get a better one for the pond. Um, my mom saw the fish. She said that she saw the uh, fish in this corkscrew rush right here that is floating in the middle of the pond. It's supposed to go on that shelf back there. She said that she saw them uh, getting stuck in there. And I think maybe we had a day where it was like 86 degrees. And I'm like, maybe they were spawning. I don't know. Uh, they were getting the activity. Maybe it, could, it takes a couple days usually to get them spawning. Um, they don't spawn right off the bat when temperature gets warm and they, their bodies have to adjust to it, produce eggs, produce sperm and all that stuff, you know. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to get this thing ready for the springtime. Um, you can see I got some roses in here. One, two, three here. And there's two on this side right here. I'm taking all these weeds up. Um, I'm going to put mulch around it, more roses. Waterfall is going to be on top of it. Um, I think about tilling up the grass, putting Kentucky 31 or stay green nitro fuse grass seed around it. Um, I'm thinking about Kentucky 31 because I like that stuff. Uh, I think Kentucky 31 is really pretty grass. Uh, and you can see like I took a lot of water out of here. Also around here, this is where the waterfall is going to be. I'm also thinking about putting sand in here, like an 8 inch sand bed in here for anaerobic bacteria. Um, that way I can get zero nitrates even with a crap load of plants. I can have zero nitrates and maybe I can put a few freshwater clams down here. Um, right here I want to circle it out and make like a, a mulch bed right here. So I want to have mulch on the hill and back here. <clears throat> I'm thinking about putting an Alberta spruce right here or uh, not a Leland Sp Cypress, they get too dang big. Um, but I'm thinking, about, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about putting an um, Alberta spruce right here. Um, gonna get another knockout rose over here, probably two more here, one more here. Uh, I figure it's gonna be a lot better. I think it'll look a lot better and a lot easier just to put roses around here instead of getting like different kind of shrubs and stuff. Uh, so you can see this, this lily right here is one lily and it grew back this big in like a, like a few weeks. Um, this thing was from last year. Uh, this lily is about, it's going on three years now or two years old right now. And I think it's going on three. Yeah, this lily is three years old. When I first got it, it was only like three, three little leaves. And um, the first year it wasn't that big. And the second year, last year, it was like already the width it is now, but the leaves were like size of a bat. Yeah, guys, it's going to be a short video. Just showing the pond, what's going through, doing a big old water change. Going to feed their, uh, switch their food over into a springtime growth and energy uh, formulated food. And then I'll put it in a summer staple, which has more protein diet and more for growth. So that's what's going on, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out past pond videos. Here's some other of my tanks right here.